Hello everyone. I would like to start today's video with a public apology. Uh, on my last uh, mobile review, uh, I, I reviewed this light, and um, I was I was quite harsh. It was quite harsh. Looking back on it, I was quite harsh. Um, maybe too harsh. Uh, because today I, I reviewed a mobile game that was, well, so bad, so aggressive with its transactions, so misleading with its transactions that um, it's put everything else into perspective. I think you know the one I mean. Yes. No. Let's just say that I don't think it's only a puzzle game. But before we get into today's video, I would like to thank the channel members for their continued support. You guys help make content like this. And if you want to become a channel member, there's a button down below and, you know, like and subscribe and all that. But uh, let's, let's get on to the video. First time you load up the game, you have to select your civilization. Uh, by moving over to a civilization, it will play a voice clip and music that's sort of reminiscent of that civilization. It's truly something to behold. For freedom. Кто хочет, тот добьётся. Mubarak un enter. Кто хочет, сентябрь. Да, бонти. Always to flee treason. Very generic music from that place. I pick Europe because God save the Queen and all that. We are then told our city resources are in short supply, so I have to go collect some. I enter a puzzle where I can move the golden pillars. Moving the light one releases the boulder and I move the other one so I can get towards the chest that looks Egyptian? I, I thought I was English? I mean, it's not like the English robbing other countries of their riches. I mean, precious artifacts for a museum. I am told to do mysterious puzzle. This looks like the story mode. I am told to move the object in the right order to get through the stage, even though I've already done that in the previous stage. Why is the tutorial after the first puzzle? Okay, I do stuff in the wrong order and I die. I do stuff in the right order and I die. So you have to time everything as well. At least the game resembles the adverts so far, plus I can share that I beat this level. Not sure why I want to share that I beat a level and that I got this reward, but okay. This knight says there's more puzzles for us to enjoy. Not sure how this is a team effort. I'm the one doing all the work and getting killed if the puzzle goes wrong, while this guy just stand backs and laughs. I'm then told I need to upgrade my keep to unlock more puzzles. Oh, wait a minute. But before that... I'm told I can find more puzzle stages by sending out scouts daily. So I click the guy that has a giant question mark above him. This guy says he's found some in an ancient ruin and he will stay here for a few days. Look mate, just jot down the location on a map and go find some more. Let's not waste time. No wait. I'm gonna have to click you, aren't I? I complete the level and then told my people need food so I build farms. Wait. This is a city builder, isn't it? Oh no. Everything's gonna have a time of cost to build, have a time of cost to gather resources. I'm gonna need to do this so I can go to the higher level puzzles. I'm told I need to build an army so I train some warriors. Then I'm told monsters and a rebel army are attacking my lands and I need to defend my kingdom. So I click a globe and go fight some robbers that cost zero reb. Oops. What what is ha happen? Oh 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 no! This is this is the actual game, isn't it? I'm told generals inspire and lead my men to victory. Hang on, we've gone from puzzles to base builder to a war sim. I select the general, and I almost hit the ads along the top. Timed exclusive deals. I barely played the f game. I'm, I'm still in the tutorial and the game's trying to get me to buy stuff and I almost did by accident. I select Charles since he's the only one I have. 
even though the guy was clearly laughing at me while I'm trying to do the puzzles. And I march. There is a timer, so this battle takes 26 seconds and everything is done automatically, even them returning back to the castle. So this isn't a war sim. This is just a waiting sim with puzzles. This is truly a city builder. Before I go on, I should probably explain what I mean by city builder. A city builder was a very popular game back in the early days of mobile and Facebook where all you would do is just collect resources to build new buildings that would get you new resources. Then you can upgrade your older buildings to get more resources. It's just a resource management game where the only thing you can do is just wait for your resources. But don't worry, you could do something to speed up this process. More on that later. I'm told to note that there are many quests, events and challenges I can complete for greater rewards. Okay, I noted them in my script. You happy game? I go claim my quest rewards for during the tutorial. And then the game gives me a pat on the head. Your grace, the king has died. The king is dead. So we should go take the throne. Hang on, I, I thought I was the king. Am I the king? What's going on? Am I, am I an envoy? Hang on, no time for that. More buildings to be done. Gotta upgrade the key. And the game is telling me to use the instant free upgrade that, that I'm guaranteed will probably cost gems in the future. I see you, game. You are training me to skip this stuff, and you know it'll cost gems in the future. Maybe tons in the future, just to fast track this stuff. I can't hit the five minute wait. <sighs> I see. So an instant upgrade to build an academy. So far, these buildings take seconds to build. Then nothing. No handholding. I am free. And Monarch says he is a total noob at this game. I wonder how long this no handholding is going to last. I check my mail. I'm told to start researching. I see. More super promotions with time limits on it. I'm sorry, dislike. I know now I was way too harsh on you. I get a gift for something and I'm told I can upgrade my city even faster. So I research a builder that takes 5 minutes. But wait! I can use items to make it go faster. I've researched a builder and have another building slot. Now the game says I need more workers so I complete the puzzle and get more treasure. The second easiest puzzle so far. And now we can unlock a new building slot. Even though I thought I already unlocked the second building slot. Oh. Oh no. So it's not even a permanent unlock. You get it an hour for the first time. It's free. So the game wants me to play for another hour. If I only have it for an hour game, I didn't unlock shit. All this to unlock something that I only get for an hour. Just so you train me how and how good a second build slot is. <sighs> this game is... Testing my patience. Great. More puzzles and mystery puzzles. Let's go take a look. So Charles tells me each level keep unlocks new puzzles, which gets me more rewards to help upgrade the keep, but probably not enough to unlock more of the puzzles, so I probably have to wait around for buildings and upgrades. Fun. I think I've already seen the loop for this game. The timing on this puzzle is bullshit. I have to be so fast with clicking on the platform and releasing the character. The next puzzle is a lot easier, and the next puzzle is the same as the one we already did for the unlock that extra build slot. This game is go do puzzles till you can't anymore. The ball of death was bullshit, there was no indication that this would happen, and the next puzzle is super easy. This difficulty curve is all over the place. The next puzzle is easy, then it's back to the keep because it's not level 3 yet. We can upgrade the walls instant for free again and can't click the timer button again. 
Eventually it's gonna cost gems, but since the game has trained you to hit the green and not the orange, there's gonna be a chance you hit the green by mistake or burn through those gems when you didn't mean to. I can upgrade the keep and take some time, but lucky for me I can speed it up. I do. Then notice the game is telling me to click the button that there isn't there. Right, you can see the outline of the button that covers half the button I can press. It still thinks there are two buttons from the screen before. This isn't that far into the game. I haven't been playing for that long. I'm not even level 3 and there's already some graphical glitches. I smash 3 and I'm told there's treasure underground and I should go get it to boost the city's development. I do the puzzle trying to get the timing down using a mouse. It's a little difficult. I'm then told to hit the ellipses. Then click items that hit this flaming shield with axes. It's a growth package. I'm told to open it. And I get a bunch of stuff and look, a growth package level 2. Wow. Look, I can change my avatar. It changes my avatar. Okay, these girls have some, well, uh, assets. At least one has armor though. It's not protecting everything. I click back because I don't want to change my avatar. God save the queen. I go back to the whole page and told there are even more puzzles. Oh my. Once again, I almost click a product. Look, there are products on either side of the mystery puzzle now. This game really wants you to accidentally click an ad. So I do. And nothing happens. Okay, game. No idea what's going on here. Are you trying to trick me? Or are you telling me, oh look, they're there now? Or did something happen that made you turn it off so I don't accidentally click it? I'm told by completing certain amount of puzzles, I can claim a chest. Oh boy. I complete the puzzle and unlock Cleopatra as my general. I now I can see I can equip armor as weapons as well as a bunch of other stuff that gets unlocked later. She gains a speciality at level 25, so I gotta level up my generals as well as my keep. Ugh. I click back on the home gauge and get an ad for a coupon, but this offer will expire 6 days for one and 12 days for the other one. I only have one chance for the six days one, but five for the 12. Okay. Then I get my daily rewards. 200 gems, then a free gift pack. A free gift pack? That I have to pay for? And it costs 5,000 gems for the pack, but after five days, I get all those gems back? Okay. This is bullshit. This is not a free gift pack like you said it was. There was no indication that when I clicked at the first image that I would have to pay. It was only when I clicked the second page that I realized I had to pay. This isn't free game. I'm having to pay for it. This is a down deposit. This is so you will actually invest money into this game and they can guarantee keep you for five days. I have to wait five days just to get my 5,000 gems back. This is a digital game, right? This, there, this shouldn't take too long. This should be an instant transaction. I should be able to pay the 5,000 and get my 5,000 back. All this is, it's just a 10,000 gems for just 5,000 gems. What, what is it? What, why? I have barely even been playing and you're telling me to invest this amount of gems into something that's supposedly free. Why do I even need this? What is this? Why wait five days? You're just trying every trick to keep me playing. You're already giving me the second build stop so I play for at least an hour. And now you're trying to get me to spend 5,000 gems on a, on a general? And then you'll get, oh hey, here's 5,000 gems back. Why can't I use the 5,000 gems now? Why am I, what? This isn't free. Okay, it's big like if one of those funeral plan ads the whole ad was just telling you on how to get you get this free pen, you get this free pen, you get this free pen, then you you phone up for the free pen and go, oh by the way, in order to get the free pen, you have to pay for this funeral plan. Just tell me straight up 
that I have to spend money. Don't trick me into a false sense of hope. This ad better not pop up again, okay? It's not free. It costs. This has sour my mood. It's almost midnight, and I think I'm done with this game for tonight. After almost a day, I return back to the game. I log back in and get another daily, and once again, it brings up the free gift. So I go see how much gems cost. First, I go through the bundles, telling you all the bundles are the best deals. Then we come to just the gems. The 5k free gift cost 48 pounds and 49 pence with an extra 3k gems. You could do 500 for 1k and 2k, which would be cheaper, but the bonus gems on them are only a one time deal. So, no, that wouldn't work out. The only way to get it is to get a lot of the cheaper gems. No, it's it, 5k gems cost 4. T8 pounds, 49 pence, and you have 3k gems left over. And then you'll get those 5k gems back in five days. This game is very aggressive with its microtransactions, and you don't get a whole lot for it. I click something and get food, and then check my mail, claim a whole bunch of quests. Then I click this seal looking thing and gain more stuff. Upgrade the academy, I can do it for free, but I click the timer option and it tells me it's still for free for an instant upgrade. Claim the quest, upgrade the warehouse, claim a quest. Do another special puzzle. Upgrade the economy and now it's no longer free, but it only costs six gems. So it begins. The wait. I go do some more puzzles, I do two more and then told I can't do any more till I upgrade my keep. But I have to upgrade the academy, which I'm doing, and my walls. Oh yeah, I no longer have two build queues, so I have to wait for the academy to be done, and then I can start my wall, and then wait for that, and then wait on upgrading my keep. A lot of waiting in this game. I upgrade the monarch and get a skill for free construction, where it increases the free speed time by seconds. Not sure how many it is, but it's seconds, I think. Yay, so I level up the monarch again and put another point into free construction, so I guess I can save a few more seconds. Is it 60? I don't think so. Now I can upgrade the wall and I can't click out of this. It wants me to speed it up, then do the free upgrades on the farm. I click the wall again, then I can go to the keep and the game wants me to speed it up now and use all my speed ups. I'm then told about camps and how I should take them, which throws me into a puzzle. Right, I just skipped the puzzle. Told more puzzles and how Spartacus wants to join me. I'm told he will arrive in a day, not an in-game day, an actual day, 24 hours. The game wants you to come back tomorrow and it will do anything it can to give you a reason to return unless that reason is fun and interesting gameplay. I'm told to upgrade the city and that f free gift package is back. It's not fucking free, it's 48 pounds and 49 pence of bullshit. Play more puzzles. Then can't play anymore till you guessed it. I've upgraded the keep. So I have to upgrade the walls so that I can upgrade the farm so that I can upgrade the keep. Click the world map and see a whole bunch of other palaces. So I take a farm. I'm guessing other players will be able to evade me after a while. Means getting more resources to defend yourself and repair and go and follow these other players. This is what the game wants you to spend the most of your time on. This isn't a puzzle game. This is, a, I guess, a defense game where you basically build up a city and an army to go invade. This is Clash of Clans. This is just Clash of Clans, but without the exciting bit of actually trying to invade somebody using your army and resources. It's just auto every everything. Auto every everything. Just auto everything. Don't even play the game. Just give us money. I think I've seen everything. Look, it even costs gems to speed up an attack. Of course it would. Gems speed up everything.
The last puzzle I do, and it has a ranking system. I guess there's some replayability in the puzzles if you didn't get the free star the first time. I go upgrade a shrine, then keep, which is gonna take an hour, so I close the game. Look, I don't want to tell you how to spend your money, okay? We all, we all spend money on stuff we don't actually need, stuff that doesn't benefit us. But at least we spend stuff that we find maybe entertaining or enjoyable or tasty, even if it is just for a fleeting moment. Nothing about this game is enjoyable. The puzzles are bare bone. But even if you do like puzzles, I'm pretty sure there's a whole bunch of games out there where you can just play puzzles and you don't need to wait to upgrade other stuff to go play the puzzle. In fact, the probably only reason you can't unlock more puzzles is because you need to max out the previous puzzles and get them in a fast time. This is barely even a game. It's like they had this puzzle concept and then went, wait, this isn't going to be enough to make money. Or maybe they had this whole building thing, city thing, where you gather resources and then go invade an army, but realize people don't like those types of games anymore. So we'll present it in the adverts as this puzzle game and then go, oh guys, look, it's actually a game where you have to build your resources and city to defend yourself from other players and you can invade the other players, but then you get a general that you can upgrade and then a monarch or an envoy that you can upgrade to then go invade other places. This isn't a game, okay? Please don't play this game. Even if you find the adverts funny and like, oh my god, I could beat these puzzles so easily. You probably can, but you'll be spending most of your time waiting for your stuff to be completed. Having this goddamn free ad pop up for a free gift pack that's not even free. You have to spend money on just to get, and then five days later, you get the money. And oh look, you can get a new general in 24 hours. Look, you've unlocked a free build slot keep playing for another hour you need the build slot so you can actually build two upgrades at the same time look you could even pay for a third one so you can upgrade three buildings at the same time so you can have a better city to go attack and defend yourself because eventually that bubble is going to go and people are going to be able to invade you people who spend a lot of money on this because the only way to win this game is just to spend money there is no reason you can't play this game for free and do well. You have to spend money, 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 money. Just don't get this game. Save your storage on your mobile device. You don't need to play this, okay? This game is not worth your time. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you dislike this video, Please leave a dislike, comment below your favorite puzzle game so we can at least direct people to the comment sections below to say hey if you really want to play a puzzle game here's some great selection of puzzle games for you and if you want to become a channel member and get access to great emotes for when I go live on this channel please please do it supports these videos I'll see you guys on the next one Goodbye. Morse. Marvelous. Together on the track. Let's go. Red sus, red sus. 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 Red sus, sus.